Um, sorry, I should have said thank you, Michael. I should have said to you, I forgot. So, um, so yes, we'll do that. So yeah, we're coming into a relationship to our current experience through the six senses, softening to that experience, becoming aware of where we're maybe resisting that experience, becoming aware of where we're grasping on to that experience. Um, and yeah, softening around that. And we could continue to use this idea of the, the mother's love that the Buddha talked about the, the love of the good parent as a, a metaphor for that quality of uh, loving kindness which is also the same as awareness and how that can go beyond and outside and hold our experience uh, within it So it can in fact hold the whole of the six senses within that loving awareness, but also hold our resistance to that experience and um, any craving that's in that experience. So any desire to grasp onto any part of experience, um, you know, which is what we, we often doing. Um, this is, manifestation of the hindrances in meditation uh, uh, craving and aversion are main thrust of a lot of those hindrances um, we want to sort of move out towards something or we want to push back away from something i thought i might be just go back to um to something that we did a little while ago um just put this up. So hopefully you can see that. Um, so there's an image there of you know, energetic approach to the hindrances. So this is something we covered, I uh, can't remember when it was exactly. Um, maybe it was back earlier this year when we were looking at the mindfulness of breathing. Um, but we, we tend to move out of our out of our presence uh, in this moment by either sort of going forward or or going backwards so you know we something in us is not happy to sit in this center it wants to reach out and grab onto some part of experience that is usually in the form of thoughts um, so a thought arises and we grab onto that because we're not happy just to be here in still presence. And equally, you know, we have an aversion to our experience. So something comes up in our experience. It could be something bodily. It could be something emotional. It could be a series of thoughts. And we have a pushing against that experience. So you know, it could be felt directly in the body. Um, if we learn to be aware of this, this sense of sort of wanting to push back from what's here. So in this meditation, we'll, you know, we'll be working to see our experience through the six senses, hold that experience within that loving awareness. And if there's any desire to move out of that experience through a craving or an aversion, we'll just be bringing ourselves back using meta to this to this still center of just being with uh, and the acceptance of our experience through the six senses. So I hope that's making sense to you. Anyway, we'll, we'll be doing a, a lead meditation. Um, so um, I'll be saying things to help remind us of this. I actually just need to go to the, go to the loo. So I, I'm just going to leave you for a few moments just to set up your posture and um, 
and kind of arrive in the meditation space. So hopefully you've had a few minutes now to arrive and settle in. So dropping into awareness of the body. I'm hooking from the busyness of the mind.
the thinking mind might continually try to pull us back, but just keep steadily bringing attention to the bodily experience. Remembering this is the direct, sensate, tactile experience of the body as distinct from the mind's projection onto the body. So we're not, as it were, thinking the body and trying to come into contact directly with felt sensation in the tactile body. So you might do this by coming down from the head and being aware of the tactile sensations working down through the body. Or you may have your own way of coming into that direct sensate awareness of the body. As this is a meta meditation, it can be good to focus our attention in the body around the heart center. So it's not that we necessarily always feel meta through that physical center of the body. So don't worry if you go to the area of the body that corresponds in your awareness to the heart. and don't necessarily experience a great deal there. Metta can be experienced throughout the whole field of our awareness. But if you find it useful to go to the heart center, just do that. Staying with tactile sensation. Of 
what can help with the awareness of the heart center is if we imagine or kind of almost be like a felt sense of breathing in directly into the heart center, the area of the middle of the chest. Imagine or sense the breath coming into the heart, and the out breath, breathing out, relaxing in the heart center. Also help to imagine a glowing red ball of light in the heart center. Just encouraging you not to get too caught up with any thoughts or images. Just try to stay in a bodily sense of the heart center. just attending to our experience in this way is an act of metta. Holding the body in awareness holding the heart center, or wherever it is you're focused or attentive with your experience at the moment is an act of meta. So awareness, our attention at this moment is like the mother or the good parents love. And what is arising in experience in the body particularly is the child or the object of awareness being held in that wider field of loving kindness, kindly attention, kindly presence.
So from the heart center, we can allow our attention to broaden out, to take in the whole of the tactile body. So the attention is not so focused. It's a broader attention that just allows whatever objects appear in their attention within that field of awareness to just be there. Particularly the tactile body at the moment. in the hands, the legs, the feet. And if you're in touch with the experience of the body as that cloud of sensation, that sort of vibrational tingling, cloud of energy, Allowing that to be there, held within awareness. May be, able to, may be able to notice how that field, that space of awareness is always bigger than anything that's arising in it. Just like the mother's or the good parent's love is greater than the child's experience, is able to hold the child's experience. Even cradle the child's experience within it. Awareness is that greater field that holds all experience within it in a loving, attentive way. Staying with the physical body, becoming aware of anything that is unwanted or feels uncomfortable within our physical experience.
And then becoming aware of that, just allowing it to be held within the space of awareness. We can also imagine or sense ourselves breathing into that difficult, painful, uncomfortable part of the bodily experience. So the breath, that sense of the breath, breathing into that part of the body is also that loving awareness and also that mother, good parent, love is the awareness in the form of the breath, sensing, breathing into, attending to, holding the difficult experience. So in this 
same way that we've been doing with the body. We're going to allow attention awareness to take in more of our experience through the six senses. So we're not going to run through all of the senses, but those ones that are most apparent whilst we're here with our eyes closed. So allow attention awareness to take in sound that is in our field of experience. Maybe if we're in contact with this sense of a field of awareness, the sound is just something else that's arising in our aware experience. So some of that sound might seem to be outside of ourselves. Notice from the point of view of awareness, it's just something else arising in experience. So it's quite a windy day, windy, rainy. So it's allow the wind of the rain, the sound of the wind and the rain, or any other sounds that are in your direct experience at the moment. In the same way, to be held by that mother, good parent, loving kindness, the aware field. And notice whether there is any resistance to any sound within our experience. So if it's the wind and the rain, you may not like the wind and the rain. 
noticing if there's any feeling of resistance of aversion. So this is the mind sense coming in and telling some story about what that sound is, what our reactions to that sound are, our past experiences to do with that sound. Just trying to suspend that and be with the actual experience. Becoming intimate with it just as a sound that's arising in attention awareness. And if there is still an aversion response to the sound, holding the aversion response, see if we can hold the aversion response within that field of loving awareness. Just as the mother holds the child's reactions to things, knows that they are bigger than the child's reactions, they are able to hold the child's reactions. Similarly, if the sound is pulling us out of ourselves, pulling us out of presence, out of attention awareness, the field of awareness, acknowledging that that's what's going on.
coming back to that sense of presence, the aware space. Just the naked experience of sound. Allowing ourselves to be intimate just with that bare experience. Just a movement within the field of awareness. And our craving or aversion responses are also just another movement in the field of awareness. If we're aware of our thoughts, the mind sense, similarly, just allowing whatever thoughts arise in that field of awareness. Just to be there, to come and go. Without judgment, without holding on, without pushing away. Let the child's experience be what it is. Not making it have another experience other than the one that it's having. We just allow the experience to come and go, be seen in the field of awareness. Experience passes, leaving that field of awareness undisturbed.
just like the good parent, the mother's love, holds all of the child's experience. And yet stays centered, stays balanced, stays in loving kindness. <laughs> 